2K Sports. The Maryland Terrapins square up against the Oregon Ducks. This should be a whale of a game. Hi there, everyone. We're here at MacArthur Court. I'm Vern Lundquist, here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? This is a terrific matchup at the small forward position. Kukinde is undoubtedly one of the best small forwards in the nation. He's got great touch around the rim. He's a real dangerous post presence. Hart is also a solid contributor at the small forward spot. He has such an understanding of the game, he never gets rattled and always makes good decisions. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. Tied up, zero. Takes it up. Can't convert. But he'll go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. Pass. Top of the key. The Kinde. Number 22. Throws it up. Hits the tray. Swings it to the right wing. Down low. Kicks it out to the corner. Hart. Casey dumps it off. Dumps it down low. Last shot laid in by Parkinson. The Kimde inbounds the ball. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Thanks, guys. Earlier on, I caught up with the Ducks coach. He told me offense is not an area of concern for this team. He's confident in their ability to put points on the board and hopes their effectiveness offensively carries over to the other end of the court. We'll see, Vern. Thank you, Tracy. Hexton gets it in the paint. Second to fall as well. But Kinde inbounds the ball. Dishes. Right block. Sullivan gets it. Left wing. But Kinde got it. He's got two. Beats it down low. The shot was good by Parkinson. They're up by three. Oregon went the furthest of all the number three seeds last year, but they eventually fell to Florida in the Elite Eight. They played as well as anyone else. Though. Between them and UCLA, they represented the Pac-10 very nicely. Left wing. For three, 
But Kinde calls in the board. Right around 12 minutes left in the half. And Kinde went after that rebound hard. Great work. Number 22 catches it outright. Feeds baseline from 18 feet away. The shot bounce up and in. Soft touch by Kinde. And they now go up by one. Goes up. Cantrell wipes the board off the window. I love the defense. Just because he's in tight doesn't mean you have to give up the easy deuce. Has it. Down low. Sullivan bounces it to the right corner. The last layout is left in the right corner. Sensational teardrop. That will bring a tear to you. To the paint. Casey picks it up and lays it right in. But they're still down by one. Cantrell puts it up. Snatched inside by Corbin. An offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He did right where to be. He can't get the first. Coach Williams made some changes that could affect their chemistry a little bit. I don't think these guys have played together very often. He sinks the second. Zwicker inbounds the ball. It looks like they're playing man to man. Skips it to the high post. Number 24 has it. Right wing. Skip pass to the free throw line. Zwicker. Braswell crosses it up. Follows his miss. Can't get the layup. They're still down seven. Just over ten minutes left in the half. Catches it. Baseline. Cantrell dishes it to the high post. Number 22. No good from three-point land. But they're still out in front by two. Right side. Zwicker backs him down. Feeds it to the high post. They're bringing the double team. Hart. That last 15-footer dropped in. That is textbook right there. As soon as he drew the double team, he dished it for the open shot. Dumps it off. Passes it to the elbow. Bounce pass to the free throw line. Hart has it out left. They're going to have to hurry. Backs him down. Casey, no look pass to the wing. Last way off the mark by number 24. It's one on one. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Left wing. Cantrell. From about 19 feet. Missed shot by number 22. And it's still all knotted up. That last shot good by Hart. Oh, man. How many lead changes have we had? This is fantastic stuff. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Cantrell inbounds the ball. Bounces it to the left wing. Leads him with the pass. Nice little crossover. Bakinde launches one from beyond the arc. Buries it. They're up 16 to 15. Dumps it to the inside. Casey.
Gets it on the elbow. Left wing. Takes the shot. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by Filman. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Dumps it to the paint. Cantrell goes up. Zwicker prevails the miss. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. He can't lose concentration even for a second. Casey dishes to the right from 18 feet away. Yanked down inside by Zwicker. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. Just a great matchup we've got here. Neither team can score any knockout blows. Bakinde catches it down low. Passes high post, hands it off. Bakinde. Sullivan beats it to the wing. Nothing but net by Bakinde. it for side it's tipped and it's picked up by Oregon again he's making big plays on defense to help his ball what cagey instincts on the defensive end number 22 Dishes to the wing. It's deflected. And it's scooped up by Cantrell. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Hexton inbounds the ball. The Terrapins will take their first time out. Substitution in the field. Has it outright dishes left wing? Zwicker gets it right wing. Hart passes to the strike. Hart from 18 feet away gets it to go. They cut it to one. Oregon does have a national title to their name, Bill. The very first one to be exact. Oregon does have a national title to their name, Bill. The very first one to be exact. Last basket is made by number 22. They've got their defense and it's been a minute. Left wing, beyond the arc. The shot was short by Hart. It's two on one. Sullivan picks it up. Finishes the break. He's got two. Swings it to the wing. Kroon. Fishes it to the wing. Bounces it to the top of the key from the wing. It was nailed by Hart. And they're now behind by three. Lewandowski inbounds the ball. The Ducks were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. I'm not sure who that was going to, Vern. It seems he hit the panic button and sent the ball sailing. from 17 feet out. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. Both teams will make some substitutions.
fall as well. Lewandowski inbounds the ball. Right around four minutes left in the half. Forver. Forver yanks it down inside. Forver with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. This is the first. Misses again. He can't make the defense pay for the foul. Skips it to the right wing. Laswell has it. On the free throw line, with the shot, doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. About three and a half minutes left in the half. The defender did a great job keeping with him. Terrific D. Cantrell. The bank shot won't fall. They're still up by one. Gets it. High post. Parkinson, lead pass to the inside. Last shot laid in by Horton. They just keep trading baskets, Fern. This is a battle. Lewandowski inbounds the ball. 2.51 left in the first half. Shoots the turnaround. Packed on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Sink the first. Hexton didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Good on number two. Gets the reach in ball, and that's his first foul of the game. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Braswell inbounds the ball. Left wing. Pullman shoots the three. Lewandowski grabs the rebound inside. He didn't have a lot of room out there, and it kept him from getting comfortable on that shot. How strong is this guy? Powers through the foul and gets the four opportunity. Beautiful stuff. Gets the free throw for the rare four-point throw. They're set up in Nidamit. Passes it to the elbow. Hart backs in. Hexton. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through. The big guy has spoken. Dishes to the left wing. 
The big guy has spoken. Number 22. Leads him in. Has it. Inside. 120 left in the first half. Aker passes to the right side. Bakinde shoots from the elbow. Hits it. That's eight unanswered points. Swicker inbounds the ball. Maryland seems powerless to stop this run. And Tracy's got something for us on that. Coach Williams is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. Thanks, Tracy. Swicker. Burton gets it. Top of the key. Sizing up his man. They couldn't get the shot off in time. Cooler execution there. You really have to be aware how much time you have left and make the most of it. It's inexcusable not to get a shot off. Dish, left wing. Cantrell. Aker dishes it to the wing. He got fouled and still almost over. We'll go to the line for two shots. He makes the first. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some salt. He gets them both. Next up, inbounds the ball. The student section is whooping it up now. How much fun are they having? Oh, my. That's what it's all about. The passion for their team is just awesome. First half comes to an end. The score, 34 to 25. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Let's see who we have as our player of the half, Bill. Mukinde is my pick, Vern. He's finding ways to score every trip down the floor, and he's carrying his team. He's been a force on the offensive end, and is putting on a show for everyone here. A phenomenal performance. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Cantrell inbounds it to start the second half. To the middle. There's a whistle! Gets them both. Passes it to the left. Casey. They're going to double team it. And he goes out of bounds. Last touch by Maryland. Bakinde inbounds the ball.
Swing pass. Left wing. Pretty pass by the Kimbo. He's shooting 100% for the game. Hexton gets it on the inside. Backs down. Casey forgot where he was on the floor when he gets called for a three-second violation. Poor concentration, Burn. It's easy to see why the score is like it is. Cross court. Fires. Holden. That's Holden. He gets hammered. We'll head to the strike. And he makes the first. Parkinson got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Gets the second to fall as well. Hexton inbounds the ball. Crosses it up. The three-point shot was offline by number 24. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Cantrell. Nice job on the assist by Cantrell. He's three for eight for the game. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Burn. Minimum. Passes to the elbow. Parkinson. As soon as he got the ball down and the defense was all over, making things difficult. Swings it to the wing. Cantrell dishes it down low. Sullivan catches it. Baseline. That last 16 footer back in. The Terrapins have got a lot of ground to make. Now you can see them really pulling away. This could easily turn into a blowout after being so close for so long. Number 24. Last shot missed in three point range. They've got to put an end to this run before this lead gets out of reach. Gets it. Top of the key. Left side. Hart backs in. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 24. Dishes cross court. Casey catches it in the corner. Lead pass. Down low. The steal by Oregon. Not a good entry pass. Time. You just can't force it in there. Stolen away by Maryland. Number 24. It's blocked. Raises up. Nails the jump shot. But they're still behind by 17. Top of the key. Beats it to the left wing. Sullivan hands it off. Number 22. The last shot will get the end. Merrill is really struggling. Irrepressible, Vern. These guys just keep coming after you. We've seen no run up, that's for sure. Missed shot in the paint by Hart. Took loose, but it's recovered by the Kinder. Let's it go. 
The three was drained by Sullivan. By 24. Just over 10 minutes left in the second half. Casey has it on the elbow. Parkinson, 14 feet up. Fisher pulls it in. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. And that's the main reason they're leading in this game. Skip pass, out left. Takes it up. Snatched down by Hackstrom. That's a rare miss there for them. As long as they keep running their offense like they've been doing, though, they'll be fine. One on one. Hexton. Casey bounces it to the left side. Hart from deep. Cantrell has it. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. Takes it up. The finger roll was laid in by Sullivan. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Substitution is good. Braswell inbounds the ball. The Terrapins will try to put a stop to this run. Right wing. Dumps it inside. Last shot dumped down by number 24. That's how to power it down with authority, Vern. Aker. Dishes it to the top of the key. Passes. Top of the key. Bishop. Catches it. Left side. Jim Cobra can't connect from the wing. But they're still up by 24. Casey lobs it down low, and it's gathered up by Aker. He was more worried about scoring than had the ball knocked That's why you squeeze it down far. Left wing. Concorgo releases. Can't get it to fall from downtown. But they still lead by 24. Passes it cross court. Parkinson has it in the paint. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Lewandowski inbounds the ball. Bishop. Hart pulls it down inside. The Terrapins with some difficulties. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Catches it. Far side. The three-point attempt missed by Hart. The D sloughed way off him, and he still somehow couldn't get it to go. Aker beats it to the right wing. Skips it to the right. Aker, the crossover. Lewandowski pulls the trigger. Misses the three-pointer. But they're still out in front by 21. Number 24. That last 19-foot shot was off target. Dishes it to the right. Backs him down. He got the D to commit up top and then scooped them. That's using the defense's overreaction to fight back against them. The Terrapins are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Braswell inbounds the ball. Leads him in. Hexton catches the nice lead pass in stride and hits the layup. 
Casey with the beautiful setup, six assists, and he leads his team in that category. Oregon has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The Ducks coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Dishes out left. Casey. Horton swings it to the right wing. To the stripe. Passes to the elbow. Canned by Horton. He's got six. Aker. Sloan has it. Middle. The defense locked off just a little and paid for it. Pass. Right wing. Casey gets it. High post. Horton beats it to the wing. The D knows he can make that shot unchecked, and he did a good job staying with him on the play. Right wing. Aker. Great pass. For three. Held down inside by Braswell. The Terrapins need to find some answers here. The steal by Sloan. Picked them clean. Well, the game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that others don't. Bounces it to the wing. Bounce pass, baseline. Aker. Gets it, out left. Lewandowski throws it up, drops it in from 13. And they now lead by 25. Under four minutes left in the second half. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Paxton inbounds the ball. Casey passes it to the right wing. One on one. Takes the shot. Buried from beyond the arc by number 24. Ten points, and he's his team's leading scorer. Sloan jumps it off. Anticipates the pass. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Dishes to the right side. Number 24. Puts it up. Off the mark from 17 feet out. Heavy pressure kept him from getting a good look. Tough miss. Sloan. From long range. Perfect shot by Lewandowski. He's one for three from downtown. Feeds, top of the key. Casey. Number 24 from downtown. What a play. He followed his man right up and was able to get a hand on the ball. Left wing. Lewandowski kicks it out to the perimeter. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Puts it up. Block. They get the ball back. Shoots with the clock winding down. His eyes lit up when he saw that shot go up. I love when guys get that excited about defense. Hexton. Number 24 from the baseline. It's good. They're now behind by 23.
Lewandowski hands it off. Skips it to the elbow. Backs down. Aker. Gets it to fall. There in front, 67 to 41. 56 seconds left in the game. Shoots it. Answers right back with his own three. They needed this run earlier, Vern. It's going to be awful tough with the clock ticking down like this. Stolen. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Number 24. That last 18-footer made. He gets the job done almost every time, Vern. We're talking about a fellow with onions. Lewandowski inbounds the ball. One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Gunkorgo shoots it up. This crowd couldn't be any happier. Just listen to the people in this game. Great shot to hang on to the lead. They're doing it all out there. That last three ball was drained by Casey. Gunkorgo tosses it up court. Perimeter. to the inside. Number 24 lays it in. That's all for this one. The Ducks defeat Maryland 70 to 51. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game-Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game-Changing Performance. An incredible display of touch from downtown was our highlight of the game. The Oregon Ducks had their spirit lifted after this amazing four-point play. To be able to knock down a three after getting fouled and then make the free throw is something else. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raffer. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.